hello guys welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com in this tutorial I'll explain you about software testing and what exactly is software testing so software testing is a process it's not a standalone activity so many uh, times you might have a misconception that it's a standalone activity and you just need to um, perform various uh, validations or uh, verification uh, in a standalone form but it's, it's not the case it's actually a whole process which fits into the software development life cycle and goes hand in hand with software development life cycle so there is a software testing life cycle which goes hand in hand along with the software development life cycle now why do we do software testing it's the the key things uh, to note is that you need to verify or you need to check whether the software that you're delivering to your customers um, meets the user requirement whatever requirement has been provided to you uh, the software that is being delivered meets those requirement the other thing is whether that software is fit for use say for example you are developing uh, a particular software uh, for end users to upload their photos um, over the internet or uh, put it on the cloud then the first and basic foremost thing in that particular software or application is that the person should be able to upload um, the photos from his different devices like mobile phone internet uh, mobile phone uh, laptop when he's connected to internet to the uh, using that app uh, to the cloud so that's basically one of the feature that explains whether that software is fit for use for that end user if you are developing a certain software for um, and a user is supposed to use it in a particular way then whether that software meets that uh, criteria or not so whether it is fit for use for that particular user or not now the third thing about the software testing is that it is done to find software defects or failures well in advance so that's um, the advantage of having uh, of doing the software testing that you are able to figure out the failures um, of the software well in advance before the software goes into the production or it's available for the end user to use you don't want the use uh, you don't want your software to go into the production uh, release to the market and then no one is able to use it it's a bad reputation for the organization bad reputation for the um, company that is developing that particular software now software testing um, is as, as I mentioned it's a process it consists of all the life cycle activities like static testing dynamic testing um, and also uh, con consists of test planning preparation evaluation um, of the software products to determine whether it, uh, the software product satisfied the satisfies the customer requirements now let's see what exactly is covered um, in, in the whole process of the software testing software testing is a series of activities and it consists of both static testing as well as dynamic testing so in the series of activities what exactly um, is involved it's basically software testers are involved in the whole software development life cycle starting from the static testing which is nothing but um, reviewing the document like software requirement specification high level design document um, and then in later phases basically doing the dynamic testing or executing the actual software that has been developed and verifying that the software is producing the output that uh, is expected by the end user so there are many many static and dynamic testing techniques available uh, like reviews walkthrough or some of the static testing techniques um, and then uh, in the dynamic testing te techniques you have black box testing white box testing etc which i'll cover in later tutorials in detail now testing is both static and dynamic so like static testing consists of technical reviews walkthroughs 
uh, you do the inspections or static code analysis without executing any of the uh, code or software and then in the dynamic testing you actually execute uh, the software when that software is being built it's being deployed on some computer or some uh, operating system and is being executed and then as a software tester you do the dynamic verification uh, like you do unit testing integration testing you do system testing and then uh, acceptance testing as part of the dynamic testing now what are the certain testing activities involved in that whole software testing life cycle or, or what exactly are the key activities of the software testing so the first activity of software testing is basically uh, test planning now test planning is the most important part of software testing you need to do test planning for what you want to achieve who will do what and then time frame of testing then you have to control the test progress whether the testing that is being done is in the control format or the the target that you have set for your testing you are actually uh, progressing properly within that target or within the time frame and then preparing the test summary report so that's that all comprises of the some of the test planning activities now the second activity in the testing is the test preparation so once um, once the test plan has been finalized or test planning has been done completely then uh, you start with the test preparation uh, and in the main activities in test preparation is to prepare the test cases to analyze uh, what the requirements are have that whole understanding around the requirement and then start preparing the test scenarios in the test case prepare the test environment get ready with the test data uh, in order to do the execution when the software is actually ready or the build is ready to be deployed and tested now uh, the third key testing activity is test execution and evaluation which is nothing but you execute the software or you do the dynamic testing once the build is available and deployed you start you deploy uh, you start dynamic testing and then you verify that the behavior of the software whether it meets the exit criteria or whether it meets the expected result or not say for example are you able to upload images from your phone using the application uh, that is being provided to you so for example um, you, you, your company is building an application to upload images to cloud uh, when you are connected to internet so are you able to do it from phone are you able to do from uh, your laptop uh, etc different uh, operating system different browsers so these are some of the scenarios or test cases that you will be actually performing during that test execution and then evaluating whether that it meets the exit criteria now the other bit in the evaluation is uh, whether that software is easy to use whether uh, that's the another criteria you shouldn't be um, it, it shouldn't be really tricky or uh, difficult to navigate around that particular software to use it and then the third evaluation criteria where criteria is whether it meets the end user requirement whatever the end user uh, is expecting out of that software whether that has been met with it with, with this software right now the other activity uh, testing activity is verifying the software product and related work product so software testing is not just about doing the static testing of the initial phase or initial documents like requirements and high level documents and design documents but uh, it, it's also verifying the other software related products and other products like uh, training material user guides installation guides uh, your your quick reference guide and any other related product that are being produced as part of that software package that is being released to the market so these are um, these are some of the key activities and deliverables um, from the software testing as well so that is pretty much all about the basics of software testing hope you enjoyed this video please do um, share and subscribe and thank you for watching